Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Trenton Fairgrounds for the 13th race of the Neymar Mountain Dew Code Red Series. We're here to bring you 54 laps of action in Season 3 and winning the coin flipped. How about this story? Alan Cavanero wins the coin flip after winning his first heat race of the year. Is this a sign of good things to come for Toyota? Could they get their first win of the season here today? Starting to the outside of Cavanero will be Hunter Braxton. It's Braxton's fourth front row start on the season. And he is also the only driver to have four heat victories in the series. Starting in row two is a pair of teammates, Jonathan Zorlin and Johnny Gardner. Row three, another pair of teammates, Andrew Rich and Matthew Logan. Row four is Adam Flickinger and Sky Commons, who missed his first race back at Dover. And in row five will be R.J. Bishop and Bobo Jones. Bad news for Dover winner Nico Tringali. They had something fail in qualifying. And uh, despite what this looks like, he will start in 40th. So a tough break for Tringali. Hopefully um, he can turn around. This is a bizarre kind of starting grid here, I'll tell you what. And so the rest are starting at the tail of the field. It's been a while since we've done kind of a weird backwards starting mojo thing. Anyways, let's look at the point standings. Dylan Young still holding strong. He's extended it back up to 45 points over Matthew Logan. Andrew Rich has moved up to third. He's 97 back. Braxton down the fourth, 102 back. With Eli Bright fifth in points, 123 back. The rest of your top 10 is Baran Oskis, Ryan Brommer, like I said, missing his first race of the season, Nico Tringali, 8th, Sky Commons, 9th, and Cement Oskin is 10th. The rest of your top 20, Dale Lightning, Enzo Nereza, Jonathan Zorlin, Quinton Moore, James Ellison, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., Casey Nanako, Bobo Jones, RJ Bishop, Bishop and R Adam Flickinger. As a reminder, Quinton Moore also missing out on the race here today. Trackside. If you love NASCAR as much as I do, get on your feet and help me start this race. Gentlemen, start your engine. And the drivers already firing up those engines. They cannot be uh, expected to wait on the command. We're going to wait and see if these drivers line up correctly. And it looks like Roe is actually supposed to be on the outside, not Magora. But it looks like they're going to figure it out, so um, that's good to see. So Tringali will definitely be the mover of the race. I mean, it's a Roush Fenway racing car. Hopefully he gets a very good run here, moves up through the field, 54 laps of action. Um, we're going to expect, due to the cloudy condition, the pit window to be roughly 22 to 27 laps. So that means if you don't make it to 27, you are likely going to pit two times here today. And we've seen with the random speeding monitor that has been implemented here at Trenton that that might make or break your race if you get caught. So green flag is out. We're underway here at Trenton. So Cavanero gets to lead the field to the green flag. First time in the season. And look at 40 cars go through this right-hand corner. What a unique track Trenton is. So as mentioned, Brommer will miss his first race of the season. It's also the first race missed for Quinton Moore. Jesse Turner missing his second race. And Benjamin Ice missing his third. Now, with that said, the amount of drivers who have made every race so far this season has now shrank down to... 10, 11, 12. We're down to 12 drivers. 
if I got my count right. Those drivers are Dylan Young, Matthew Logan, Andrew Rich, Hunter Braxton, Nico Tringali, Enzo Nareza, James Ellison, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., Seth Cole, Benny Watson, Alan Cavanero, and Cole Deaver. And how about Benny Watson? With his top 10 last week, he went all the way up to 22nd. That's what happens when you race around the same amount of people long enough. You tend to jump in the points when you get a good finish. And how about the battle for the lead? It, it, we, I, you guys probably saw it because I kept it on the 18, but I was looking at the point standings. I didn't see it, and clearly Hunter Braxton making short work of Alan Cavanero, but Cavi not giving up just yet. Braxton would be looking to become the third junior motorsports driver with multiple wins on the season. Braxton got his one and only win all the way back at Rockingham, and honestly, due to his success in the heat races, I'm shocked that he doesn't have more wins as far as the mains go. Now, if Braxton were to win, that would leave teammates Andrew Rich, who won at Dega, and Bright, who won at Atlanta, to win their second races. So how about, here's an interesting statistic. Here's, listen, hear this out. First three races of the season, it goes Rich, Bright, Braxton, Junior Motorsports. One, two, three, three, for three one-time winners on the season, right? We get the Martinsville Lightning wins, and then we get to Richmond and Logan wins. So now we've got every Junior Motorsports drive wins. Logan becomes the first and only driver so far to go back to back. He's the first of two wins for Junior Motorsports. Then Lightning gets his second win at Pocono. So we're if, if Braxton wins, we are currently inversing the way the drivers won their first races. It went Rich, Bright, Braxton, Lightning, Logan. And now, on the track to multiple wins, it's going Logan, Lightning, if Braxton holds on, Braxton wins. And then, you know, it may be, who knows? It could be Bright, and then it could be Rich. But I'm not going to hold my breath because from the looks of things, Andrew Rich is closing fast. He has got a machine under him today. Gardner fourth, Sorlin fifth. Logan sits in sixth. Well, I mean, man, if he gets three wins, that would be something. Baran Oscar seventh, Flickinger eighth. Dylan Young trying to hold off R.J. Bishop for ninth. So battle continues to rage on here for second place. Rich trying to make it stick under the 18. Can't quite get a decent run, so he's not going to make it work. Enzo Nereza has the fastest time on the race with a 35-2-4-2. Braxton's second on that list. Rich is third. Cavanero sits fifth, but he only hit a four. So we have two drivers under a three, two drivers under a four, and then one more driver under a five. So this track, I mean, traffic plays a big role in the lap times you set. And it looks like Martin Wilde might be down a cylinder. His best times are 36-3. Where is the 76 running? And he is indeed 39th. Oh, and we forgot to to even take a look at where how he's done. But we're eight eight laps in here. And Nico Tringali has made his way from 40th up to 33rd. Now, he is considerably faster than where he's running. He's 20th on the board as someone has blown a motor. And it's Sky Commons. The disaster for the 19 team continues. As he blows up here at Trenton, and that really stacked up the field. We've got three wide everywhere. James Ellison and a bunch of others have to really check up. Now Tringali, look at Tringali. Look at all the cars Tringali just passed in that corner. He's going to go from 33rd to 28th at the start-finish line. My goodness. So disaster strikes for the 19 team again. And it looks like they're en route to a 40th place finish. But that really split up the field. Commons was running up there near the top 10. And that really split things up. So 
you see right here, it's a bit stringed out right here, but we go all the way up to 14th, ends with Nereza, and boom, there's 13th, Joshua Sikuli. Right here, this camera will show you the difference. There's the gap. Now, it's not gigantic, and they're likely to catch back up. Especially since the rest of doesn't have to worry about someone in front of him right now. But that is very costly to all those teams. Dylan Young held off Bishop for ninth. He's made it up to eighth. So now Matthew Logan has fallen to seventh. Or maybe he was in seventh already. I can't recall. So Braxton, though, continuing to lead. Gardner's looking for third from Cavanero. It's the battle of the teammates here. Here comes Andrew Rich looking for the lead from Hunter Braxton. Will Andrew Rich take away the top spot? Well, he didn't get a good run there. We're going to take a quick commercial break. And we'll be back for the first round of Green Flag Pit Stops. Your top five, Braxton, Rich, Cavi. Gardner and Zorlin. We are back here live at Trenton as the battle rages on between Hunter Braxton and Andrew Rich. As you can see Rich very close to the bumper of Braxton as tire wear has continued to pick up here at the racetrack. Lap times now down to a second and a half off their fastest. It's your top 10 rundown. Hunter Braxton, Andrew Rich, top two. Kevin Arrow still holding off Gardner for third. Matthew Logan has made it up to fifth. Baranowska, sixth. Young, seventh. Sorlin's eighth. Flickinger, ninth, as Dale Lightning has cracked the top 10. He's got his support of Nereza and Deaver behind him as they passed RJ Bishop. 11th, 12th, 13th, Sekuli sits 14th, Jones 15th, big gap back to 16th place, Samet Oskin, 17th, Colt Hudson, 18th, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., going by for 19th, Mendez over Eli Bright, Fernandez 21st, battle for 22nd between Briggs and Watson, Seth Cole up to 24th, Peter Onjak 25th, Tremblay 26 as Tringali looks to fight for that position. He's in 27th. Johnson there in 28th. Gap back to Ellison 29th. And Voiles rounds out the top 30. Cole Baker 31st. Otts 32nd. Rowe 33rd. Cage 34th. Battle for 35th between Wild and Beckett. Nanako 37th. Tough day for him. Magor 38th. And Jagger is 39th. Skype Commons out of the race due to a piston failure, and while we were going through the field, Andrew Rich has taken the race lead away from Hunter Braxton. So it looks like it's definitely going to be a battle between the teammates once again. As you know, they fought all the way back at Rockingham. It looked like Rich had it down, but it was Braxton who came from behind to steal the show and win his first race of the season. Braxton has not won a race since Stega and honestly has not had a chance to prove he can win at tracks other than super speedways. Though his stat line begs to differ, he does have four top fives, or I'm sorry, let me rephrase this, three top fives and six top tens aside from his one win. I say it that way because the win counts as a top five and a top ten. And of course he's third in points. But, I mean, no one has had nearly the success as Dylan Young and Matthew Logan. Through their 12 starts, Young has an average finish of 5.6, while Logan's at an 8.75. Through Baran Oscar's 10 starts, she's at an 8.3 average finish. Those are the only three drivers with an average finish in the single digits. The next best average finish goes to Eli Bright with a 10.45 and then Dale Lightning with an 11.1 the worst average finish which you can't even really call it one because he's only made one race is St. Beckett at a 35th um, if we want to get really technical the worst the 
worst average finish I see is through five starts, Chris Wheeler at a 33.8, which is only a little worse than Alex Anders Rowe, 33.75, McGore's 33.4, and Anderson's 33.3. You've also got Donovan Cage through 11 starts at a 33.36. Top two have pulled the way. Johnny Gardner has made it by. Alan Cavanero for third place, finally. As Baran Oscas moves up to fifth. Herself, Logan, and Young are beginning to close in here on the top four. So Gardner getting by at a good time. We'll see how much faster Gardner is going to be now that he's gotten by the 18. And he does sh shed some speed there off of the... Uh, off the lead of Andrew Rich, but it looks like Rich is not done dealing with Hunter Braxton. Braxton's still all over his bumper. And we're at lap 24, so hit stops could come any time now. Coming here off of turn five. If they can make it to 27, it's not something anyone will have to worry about. No one from the top 10 pitting. As the drivers are at two seconds of fall off. Now I believe due to 4X and not being able to run long enough with older tires on 4X, um, the drivers are not able to save as much fuel as they would here on 2X. They've been running a second off pace, two seconds off pace for a long amount of time. And that has allowed them to save some fuel. So here we go. We're coming to 26 this time. Still no signs of anyone coming down pit road. Rich continues to lead. Braxton's starting to fall back now a little bit. Gardner as well. He's not gaining anymore. He's just sitting in third. Baran Oscus will pass Cavanero for fourth. Nereza has really had a good charge here. He's up to eighth. Deaver's up to ninth. And Lightning has fallen back to tenth now. But could Nereza maybe be a bit of an underdog? He is. He does have the fastest time behind. Actually, he has the fastest time. So here we go. We're going to start lap 27. Anyone pits from here on out, they will make it to the end of the race. Big question will be is, are we going to see anyone get lapped? 27 laps in and Jagger is down to 20.1 seconds behind Andrew Rich. Let's see where he's at when he hits the line. When does the scoring loop update? And he lost seven tenths that lap. Six and a half. So I think we're definitely going to have lap traffic be a factor here today. Corner grip is just so huge for these drivers. Does anyone short pit here? So far it looks like that answer is no. Deaver will pass Logan. That'll send Logan back to ninth. Kevin uh, Nero has gotten passed by Nereza. So Nereza up to sixth. Deaver's looking for seventh now. As, and Nereza might pass Young for fifth. So man, here during these old tires, Nereza seems to be one of the fastest cars on the track. Indeed he is. A lot of the guys at the front are running 38s. And here we go, Rich Braxton coming down pit road. Baran Oscus, who was passing Gardner, she'll come to pit. And many others, Young stays out. So Gardner and Young will stay out. Let's see anyone else at the back of the field. How many drivers come to pit road here on 28? Looks like a lot of them are. A lot of drivers have some early pit stalls. There's Tringali's right there. We'll see how many drivers get 30 second penalties. Should be pretty easy to spot. So here we go. Gardner and Young will come down one lap later. That should give them a somewhat of an advantage as far as diving it into pit roads. Sakuli stayed out. Eli Bright. Seth Cole. And that was it. Andrew Rich flying out of pit road as it looks like Hunter Braxton might have been one of the victims.
Indeed he was. Including Cavanero. There they go now. Yep, you can just see because Nanaka was at the back of the field. So who are the victims? Braxton's one of them. Cole Deaver's one of them. Cavanero. Cement Oskin. Gardner just got done with his stop. It looks like he's fine. Alexander Rowe got hit. Wright's fine. Martin Wilde got hit. Cage hit. Otts got hit. A lot of drivers getting nabbed. Jagger appears to have been hit as well. Seth Cole just coming out of pit road here. It looks like that's it. Anyone left on pit road? Oh, Sakuli gets nabbed. It appears to be all of them. So Andrew Rich will continue the lead. And by the way, I'm not going to use this track again. So Andrew Rich with a commanding 2.36 second lead. Let's see if he holds it here at the start finish line. And Baran Oskis cutting it down to 2.2 seconds. The Reza falling way back. He's down. Wow, he lost like six tenths there. Let's see. Officially, who was it that got nabbed? And it starts with the seven of Braxton, who's now in 30th. Cole Deaver, Cavanero, Oskin, Sakuli, Rowe, Cage, Otts, Wild, and Jagger. So, wow, ten drivers get nabbed. This puts Beckett up to 27th. And Rich will begin dealing with lamp traffic in the form of Cole Deaver. Deaver, though, pit... Um, no, he pit with him, but because he's in front of him, he's got five left corners of tire wear than the one. So that's going to help Deaver hold on for now. You can see Braxton as well running some really fast lap times. See, Magora is just really slow. There's Nanako. He's trying to catch back up to the pack. Same Beckett. So Beckett might get his best finish of the year because of the penalties towards others. Oh, three wide right here. Man, Dylan Young had a poor stop. He's down outside the top 20. That's just a regular poor pit stop. And there are lap cars in these mixes here. So this is going to get... Interesting. Nico Tringali up to 16th, looking for 15th. Remember, he started in last. Johnson's in 13th. Battle for 10th. Fitzwater looking to take it from Jones. Gardner fell to 9th. Remember, Gardner, though, pit one lap later, so we'll see what he has as far as uh, better grip in the corners. Looking for 6th. Logan, 5th. Nerezza holding strong in fourth. It looks like he's starting to gain back some time now. As he rides behind the five of Dale Lightning. Moran Oskis has conti is continuing to close in on Andrew Rich. Could she finally get her first win of the season? We'll find out when we come back. Andrew Rich leads the field here at Trenton. We'll be back soon. We're back here at Trenton. You're watching from the bumper camera of Cole Deaver. The battle is on for the lead between Andrew Rich and Audra Varan Oscus. We're hitting 15 laps to go here at the start finish line. And Rich has been caught. And the longer Varan Oscus takes, the more time Dale Lightning will close in. It looks like Nerez is kind of steadying out. But they are closing in, especially the lap down car of Joshua Sakuli. The main thing holding up Lightning right now is the 22. But it looks like Nereza is kind of stuck. There's the move again. Coming off a of turn 5 for Baran Oskis. She's the only RCR driver without a win. And at that, both of her teammates have won twice this season. Actually, no, scratch that. Brommers only won once. I my apologies. Young's won twice. Brommers won once. She hasn't won at all. In fact, 
We have not had a female winner on the season. And there's only, I think only two of them. I think it's just Audra and Zoe. And there it is. Baran Oscus will complete the pass on Kavik, uh, on Andrew Rich. And then she'll use Magora as a pick. Rich will have to lift and get behind the 21. So now we've got legitimate lap down cars here. Magora just so slow. He'll fall to 32nd. And he might fall to 33rd if Zakuli gets by him. So Braxton's up to 29th now. But... It's not looking good. Dylan Young, I don't know what's wrong with him. He's fallen to 27th place. Make it 28th as Nanako passes him. Zane Beckett, man, 25th place for the 74 team. So Baran Oscus pulling away now. Lightning has gotten that lead down to 2.2 seconds. He finally made it by the 22. Is there enough time for Lightning to catch the 21? That's the real question here. So Rich gets passed by the lap car of Sekuli. And Baran Oscus is just pulling away now. She's running faster lap times. Look at that, she just doubled her lead. Lightning barely gained the thing. Actually pulling away from the 01 now. Lightning will have to get by the 54 here quickly if he doesn't want to lose a ton of time. And that's what he'll do. Another position for cars that got penalized. So 33rd now is the 22. Just kind of minimizing the damage at this point. Oh, and Dylan Young has... His engine has failed. I think that might be a caution. It is. And Fitzwater's got door damage, but I'm not sure if that's related. Well, this is going to shake things up. Because now, now Baran Oscus will have to wait. And this could get interesting. This is going to help Cavi and Braxton have a chance to gain back track position unless they pit. Pit road is not open yet. There's Cavi, there's Braxton. So they will keep going, they're gonna catch up. Same with Deaver. But here's the pace car, so we've got 30 cars on the lead lap. Does anyone come to pit road? It's gonna be about a five to go restart. If you pit here, I would think you're gonna get a good amount of grip with four tires. But it looks like no one's gonna come down. Not a soul is going to pit for tires here. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest with you. Very, very surprised. It will be a single file restart, so this will be interesting. I think with the lap car between her and the field... I think Baran Oscus still kind of has this in the bag, so we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back for the restart. We're back. We're getting ready for the restart. Really quick note, I just saw this. The 35 has blown up, but it should not hinder this restart. Baran Oscus leads. Dylan Young is 39th, two laps down. He's resuming the race so I guess they fixed whatever his problem was this is gonna be a big hit for young in the points this is his first sign of any problems all season I mean his worst finish before this was like 13th so young's gonna take a big hit in the points it's gonna be his first 
Very bad finish. We've got five laps to go. Can his teammate get her first win on the season? And everybody behind Magora is just stuck. And Sakuli's going to make things interesting. He goes to the inside of Baran Oscus. Look at all the side-by-side -side action here on this restart. Baran Oscus is going to lose some time here. Sakuli's going to get back on the lead lap. Here comes Dale Lightning. Does he get by his teammate fast enough? If anyone's got a chance at this, it's the five. How about the 20, Nereza? Four to go. Oh, this is helping Baran Oscus pull away. Lightning has got to make quick work of his teammate. Oh, and he can't hold it. That might give it to Baran Oscus. That's going to hurt the five's chance. No, there it is in this corner. He'll throw it by the one. Dale Lightning up to second. Can Lightning be the first driver to get three victories? Three to go at the line. He's got to close in nine tenths on the 21. Didn't even get to talk about it. Fastest lap of the race to Kevin Nero. He, wow, he put down a 35-1-4 at some point. That's second run. And how about them? How are they rising through the field? Not, well, Cavi's up to 24th, but Braxton's going nowhere. Two laps to go. Does Lightning have anything? 37-0, 36-8. He closes in two full tenths. Sorlin's up to fourth. A lot of drivers making some moves here at the end of this thing. Does Dale Lightning have any sort of chance for Baran Oscus? This is his strong corner. He really gets it to stick. White flag will wave. Can Baran Oscus get a first win of the season? Here comes Dale Lightning. Down to four tenths of a second. I think it's going to be too little too late for the five. Unless he gets a really good run here down the back stretch. Into turn four for the final time they go. Lightning's really going to drive it in hard, but he's not going to get there. Not enough time. Checkered flag waves. It'll be Audra Baranoskis getting her first win of the season. And RCR now has a driver each with a victory. And Lightning did not gain much time that final lap, only three hundredths. Andrew Rich will get third, Sorlin fourth, Logan fifth. Logan's going to gain a ton of time on Dylan Young in the standings. Nereza sixth, Flickinger seventh, Gardner eighth, Bishop ninth, and wow, Colt Hudson will finish in tenth, and that'll be Hudson's um, third top ten on the season. That should help him out. He's 27th in points. Standings are official. Another piston failure. So two piston failures on the day. No idea what happened to Young. He's going to finish in 38th place. And he's going to lose a ton of points to Matthew Logan. Logan's going to finish 5th. That'll give him... I'll give him 40. Young's going to get 5 points for 38. So the lead's going to be down to, I think, 10 points. It might give or take a point or so. Nico Tringali started in 40th, is going to come up one spot short of a top 10 finish. How about Corey Riggs getting 14th? Tremblay with a 16th place finish. On Jack 18th, Watson 19th. Cavagnero got all the way back up to 20th on that restart. Sane Beckett got 35th in his first race of the season. Here in the second one, he's going to finish 22nd. So a pretty good run for that team. Tough break again for Braxton. He's still going to gain points. I mean, everyone's basically gaining points on Young today. So Young's going to get his first finish of the s worst finish of the season in the form of 38th. 
And with that, I will see you guys next time. We're going to Coca-Cola Super Speedway. First Super Speedway since Talladega, but this track is a lot faster. Get ready for some crazy action, and I will see you in Massachusetts.